My phone case was going to be a favorite for this month. It's from Kate Spade. It says, eat cake for breakfast, except for my dog Molly. Literally thought it was cake and chewed off the corner. Didn't even have it a week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be September favorites. My favorite month of the year is coming on and now it's October, which means it's Halloween season. So I have some homework for you guys. If you can let me know in the comments what kind of tutorials you wanna see. I had so much fun last year doing Halloween tutorials. I'll link all of the Halloween tutorials I did last year in the description box. And I wanna do something kind of out of the box, creative, maybe make something up, I don't know. But I don't wanna do something that everyone else has done. Like I wanna do something new and challenging. So let me know what you guys wanna see for Halloween tutorials. I think I'm gonna try to do one a week, hopefully, fingers crossed. I think I did three or four last year. So let me know in the comments and let's go ahead and jump in to September Babes. Starting off with eyeshadow first is this NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in the shade Himalaya. And this is actually a gift from Casey, but it's this beautiful metallic taupe color. These, it's like one swipe and you get intense pigmentation. They're even more vibrant and metallic when you use them wet. I like to spray some MAC Fix Plus on my brush and then put it on my eyelid and your eyes will just glimmer like they almost look wet and I love that effect. Next I have some eyeshadows from Makeup Geek I want to show you. I've mentioned them a million times on my channel because they're really inexpensive for amazing quality products. First eyeshadow is in the same kind of taupe family as the NARS one I showed you. This one is called Homecoming and it's a taupe but it has more of a lavender hue to it so it has a little hint of like a purple in it and it's so creamy, so pigmented, like perfect for fall and winter. So this one is homecoming and then the other one I have to show you is drama queen and this is a really dark berry purple color this is great for fall smoky eye even for Halloween looks I think drama queen would be gorgeous. so I've been trying to incorporate more color into my eyes lately not just sticking with brown or black like I usually do so what I have on the lower lash line of my eyes right now is this eyeliner from Sigma in the shade peacock and you can't tell as much from looking right Right here but you'll see in the close-up when I swatch it it's this gorgeous aqua blue with hints of like green in it I love this formula because once it sets it's not gonna move it's not gonna budge and it's not gonna transfer I use Sigma's black eyeliner a lot as well I think I might have mentioned that one in a favorites before I've been playing with this one and the purple one a lot this month if you guys want a tutorial let me know I know it's fall time but I still think that this is appropriate for fall I mean who cares there's no rules in makeup you can wear whatever you want. Next is an eye cream and this is the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream. This is my new favorite holy grail eye cream. I've been eyeing it for a long time but it is expensive. I believe $60 or $70 which is insane but you do get a lot of product and it is well worth it. I've gotten a few samples of this over the past year and I finally decided to take the plunge and just go ahead and get it. It's a very luxurious thick balm texture so once you rub your finger into it it kind of melts and you tap it under your eye and it is the most hydrating eye cream I have ever used and at first when you put it on since it's thick you're like okay and then it just melts and sinks into your skin and my under eyes honestly have never looked better my concealer has never looked better it helps my concealer not crease because your under eyes get so dry I've been using this day and night but if for some reason I don't want to use it in the morning I'll use my origins ginseng which is my other favorite but right now this is the number one spot moving on to cheek products first is a bronzer this is by Bobbi Brown as well and it's in the shade golden light I know I've mentioned her bronzers before but they are some of my favorite ever made. The formula is so creamy and it just looks like your skin when you put it on. I never ever have a problem with my bronzer looking muddy when I use Bobbi Brown's bronzers. I used to use the shade Natural a lot. I'll use that one when I'm a little bit tanner or I want a little bit more defined of a contour. This one is lighter than Natural and I'm wearing this bronzer today. I do it when I want a little bit more of a natural contour, a natural bronze. The color is very neutral which I like. It's not too red, it's not too orange. So whether you wear warm or cool in skin tone, you're going to be able to pull this off which makes it very uniform 
universal for a lot of people to use and it's just so easy and it always 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 looks beautiful if I need a bronzer that's guaranteed to look good even on camera I will wear golden light from Bobbi Brown next is a blush from Becca I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before but I got it earlier this spring and I use it constantly so if I haven't mentioned it I'll be surprised but this is in the shade damselfly and it's this perfect apricot with a mix of pink into it. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm and Luster mixed together. Like if they had a baby, it would be Damselfly because it's got that pink and gold, but yet it's still orange. And this is also what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And the reason I love it so much is because it's so pigmented and creamy, but it doesn't look like a clown when you put it on because I hate using a blush that's really pigmented and then I put like a little bit on and it's way too much and then you have to try to buff out all that product. This, I feel like I never get too much and it's really long wearing and I just, I think it's so pretty. Next is a blush from MAC and it's this one right here called Eternal Sun. It's a pro long wear blush and it's just a matte coppery brown shade. I love this for when I don't want to contour, I don't want to bronze, or even if I just want a very neutral blush and I've got maybe an intense smoky eye or a really bold lip and I just, I'm not feeling anything on my cheeks, you know? Some days you just don't want to wear blush or if you're not a fan of blush, this would be the perfect kind of blush and bronzer in one. Makeup Geek has a blush that's really similar called Infatuation. Those two are very close. Infatuation pulls a little bit more pink on me and this one I think is more on the brown side. But if you're looking for that good, understated blush, try Eternal Sun from MAC. I love the Pro Longwear formula. You know what time it is. Hey, hey. Now moving on to my favorite part, which are the lip products. I only have four this month, and I say only because I feel like I used to show so many. But I mean, I feel like four is a good amount, right? So first lippy of the month is one I mentioned last month, but honestly, I just can't. Like, I can't stop wearing it and I always get asked what I'm wearing when I put a picture up. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna. And look how much I've used. I feel like I've used a ton because I like to wear a different lip color every day and with this, I wear it every day. This is my perfect everyday shade for fall, winter, summer, spring, all year around. I could wear this and it makes my lips look really full when I wear this. I pair it with World Lip Liner for MAC and it's a match made in heaven. I know I've mentioned this a million times, but you guys know that if I'm raving about a lip product more than once, it's gotta be the ish, so Anna from NARS. Next is a YSL lipstick and this is in the number 10. I think it's called Beige Tribute. I bought this a few months ago at my Sephora. The lady working there recommended it to me and I was like, <sighs> because I was looking at this and another one that was more peachy and I couldn't really decide between the two because I'd never tried any of YSL's original lipstick formula. This is like another one of those mauve nude colors and I love it. I compared this to Blankety from MAC and this is a little bit more nudey pink. Uh, Blankety pulls a little bit more like gray which probably sounds weird, but Blankety pulls more cool on me where this is more warm. I love the smell. It just smells so, so good, like YSL. And the formula is really creamy and thin, so you don't feel like you're wearing a whole lot on your lips if you don't like the feeling of lipstick. YSL is on the pricey side, but if you want to treat yourself or you love lippies like me, I mean, I'll drop a dime on some lip products if they're good. So this is YSL number 10. Next is a new liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors, and this one is in the shade Kiss of Fire. They launched, I believe, four, and so far this one is my favorite. I love their lipsticks, I love their glosses, I've mentioned them before, and this is just a vibrant fire engine red. And you put it on, and it's kind of like the Lime Crime Velveteens. They're liquid, and then they dry to a matte, and they won't so if you were a fan of their previous lip products, you will love this as well. Again, a kiss of fire. Last lippy is a vampy one. This is from Gerard Cosmetics and it's in the shade Seduction. When you look at this, it is just the iconic fall lip color. And I am a huge fan of a dark, deep, glossy lip. I think it's so sexy in the fall season. I love to pair this with dark side lipstick from MAC, even like Rebel or anything that's like a deep, dark plum, burgundy, or red. Put this on top and it just looks like bitten and mysterious and just like 
perfect for Halloween and fall, especially if you're going to be like a vampire. This would be the perfect lip gloss. So I'll link them down below with a coupon. And if I have coupons for anything else, I'll link them down below as well. So again, this is in Seduction from Gerard Cosmetics. So I have a few more favorites to share with you. First is jewelry and it's this necklace right here that I'm wearing. It's called the Sweetheart Necklace from Princess P Jewelry. I get so many questions on this necklace and these bracelets. These are also from Princess P and they're called the Kim Bangles. I love them. These bracelets and this necklace are just my everyday go-to jewelry pieces and I love to switch up my jewelry but I just can't stop wearing these. I think I got this in May or June and I've been wearing it pretty much every day since. It's just so dainty and it goes with everything and they also have it in sterling silver. It's just a little bit more expensive but I personally prefer gold and this isn't real gold but it has not turned on me and I think I've said this before in a video but jewelry always turns on me if it's not real and this has not so it's really good quality. The bracelets are amazing as well. I always get so many comments of people saying how can you afford Cartier bracelets? Oh my gosh I love those Cartier bracelets. These are not Cartier, they're Princess P. They're a lot more affordable and I love them. So I'll link Princess P down below. She has amazing jewelry. It's pretty much all that I wear. I also have a coupon code. I believe it's for 10% off. I'll link everything in the description bar. So I love this necklace. So for all of you that have been asking about my necklace and then these bangles, they're from Princess P. Next are these heart sunnies I got from Zoomies and I am obsessed with these. I think they're like $15. I bought them for Tomorrow World, the music festival that I went to and they are so comfortable. They block the sun really well. I mean, probably more summer appropriate, but honestly, if they look cute with an outfit, I'm going to wear them because I'm just obsessed. And I love wearing them at the concert because, I mean, they didn't move. They feel really comfortable. They're really lightweight. And for $15, you cannot beat it. So if I can find them, I'll link them down below, like the exact ones. But if not, I bought them in store at Zoomies. Last favorite are my new hair extensions. I am completely utterly in love with the new Guy Tang Ombre extensions from Bellamy. I'm using the color 1C18 because I did get my hair lightened about a month ago and these are just perfect. I got the 22 inch 220 grams. I was using Ash Brown from Bellamy before I went lighter and the only problem with those was I couldn't add them really high up in the front because they weren't ombre so if I put them too high you could see like how light it was and it didn't really match so I had to keep them pretty low but with these I can put them in the front like I have some pieces of these extensions in the front and looking at my viewfinder I honestly can't tell you like what's my hair and what's not like this is some of the hair extensions right here. These are some of the hair extensions. Like I just, I love these extensions. If you have ombre hair or balayage, you will be amazed because these are the best I've ever seen on the market. There's no comparison. Even if you don't have an ombre, you just have highlights or one hair color, you can still add these all throughout your hair and it's gonna give you that sun-kissed balayage effect without committing to the color or the bleach because trust me bleach is so bad for your hair my hair naturally is black so getting here took a really long time and definitely took a little bit of damage so these are a lot less commitment so these are the new ombre balayage extensions from Guy Tang and Bellamy I love them and I'll link them down below so that wraps up my September favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video again let me know of any Halloween requests in the comments down below I love Love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.